Hi there, in this video we will see how to draw a 2D diagram using the sketcher module of the pure parametric. So to start, we will have to take a line command and one by one you have to start drawing the diagram as it is. If you want to start, stop drawing, you have to just press mid mouse button twice. As soon as you press that, the dimensions for the diagram that you have drawn will start appearing. Now you can change the dimensions and then continue drawing the diagram. Now from this side we need a vertical line. With this height we want it to be 18. So this way one by one we can continue draw it. So then from here we have to draw this. One suggestion here is that you don't try to draw all of it at the same time and then at the end try to you know modify it because that will not work out correctly it will be slightly difficult so one by one whatever diagram you are drawing draw it and change its uh, dimensions at the same time Okay, so this is 11.4. You can see our diagram is uh, now on the, in the process of getting complete. When you are drawing, there will be some constraints which will appear automatically, like this is vertical or horizontal, or if it is intersecting, tangential. You can choose whatever uh, constraints you want while you are making it at the same time. And as soon as you are done with drawing, you would have to just press the mid mouse button. Then we need to trim this off. So for trimming, this is the option. You just have to drag a line and it will automatically do the work of trimming it away. Next, we need a fillet here. This radius is to be 7.7. .7. The fillet has to be 2. Okay, so okay, so let's again take an arc starting from here. So when you are drawing an arc, you can you know make it start from different points. If you make it like this, you have an option of creating an arc with three points. Whereas if you start by from upper side, from this upper quadrant. You will get it tangential. So you want tangential on the upper side. So let's continue. Go ahead and do this. Now the radius of this we want it to be 8.9. Then we need a straight line over here. So let's take that and we'll fit this fillet in over here. So this fillet has to be a radius 2. Now we need this dimension over here. So in order to take that dimension, you have to take this normal dimension, click on the two lines and click the mid mouse button to get the dimension. So we want this to be 20.4. Okay. So the diagram is turning out really nicely. Uh, the next thing we want now is the distance of 29 from this point. So we want the distance from this point over here. So we we'll have to again take normal, choose this point and this point, and click far away to the right to get vertical distance. This is 29. Now once again, we'll have to take an arc, and this arc we want it to start tangentially from here. Okay, so a bit like this. And we want another arc on this side that as well we want it to be tangential. In between these two, we need a fillet. So first, let us modify this with 3. Then uh, the radius here we need is different from that one here. So we'll have to delete this constraint which is created. We want this to be 5. Now we want a fillet from here. Here, okay. So the closed diagram has been created automatically. This radius we want it to be 10. It is not possible since this distance over here is very very small. 
so what we can do is we can make this point just exactly vertically above this and now we can vary this according to our needs you see so this is how we can create the float diagram so one additional uh, uh, suggestion for you here whatever dimensions are given you should have exactly the same dimensions over here if you have any extra dimension over here that means uh, there is some problem okay so let this this again means there is one extra dimension which is appearing on this side there is 10.8 so we have to make sure that appears over here in order to appear that okay so this box is turning up which is telling us to resolve some of the over constraint of this so over constraining has to be removed over here we either have to remove this radius or this length we don't want to remove that then okay so horizontal is or vertical we want exact we want that also to be exact and horizontal we can't remove that so point on entity okay so maybe this one we have to remove it okay that's vertical Yes, so this is what we have to get it. So now that we get this dimension to be 10.8. Okay, now you can see that uh, exactly the same number of dimensions have been created in both 